Hi, my name is Lily and I am here to give you a teacher tip on how to effectively use Class Dojo in your classroom. Class Dojo is one of my favorite tools to use in the classroom because I can connect with parents, I can do my classroom management in an easy, simple way, I can create my digital portfolio as a teacher and also create my students' digital portfolios as well and I can just be on top of everything that's going on in my classroom and at the school. Class Dojo is very comprehensive when it comes to non-academics. I started using Class Dojo when I was in my second year of teaching kindergarten. I realized that I wanted to connect more with the parents and have them more involved in the behaviors that were going on in my classroom. My first year, I didn't delve into Class Dojo because uh, the students in my classroom couldn't see Class Dojo clearly. I didn't have a nice setup of projecting or anything where they could see the points that they were earning. And so I just thought it wasn't useful for my classroom at that time. However, my second year, I still had the flip cards, flip chart cards that I had before, but I found that I needed more parental involvement the next year. So I decided to also use Class Dojo along with another behavior system I had in my classroom. That was just because I saw more of a connection my second year between the behaviors and the parents. Whereas that existed my first year as well, I just didn't see it as clearly my first year. The way I use Class Dojo for behaviors is there are positive and negative points. Some teachers only focus on the positive but I found that in my classrooms, I also do the negative points only when extremely necessary. If there's any redirection needed, the negative points really help my students. Once they see the negative, they're easily redirected. I don't even have to say anything. So that's personally how I use the negative points. You could also have a negative without taking away points. You can make something worth zero points. In third grade now, which is the grade I'm at, I have a setup where I'm able to project Class Dojo most of the time, most of the day the students can see how many points they have and they can see how well they're doing. I don't make it a competition, so I just say that people who are in the green are doing a good job, which means they have positive points. And therefore, my students don't tease each other or get angry about the point system and it motivates them to get more each time. So it kind of creates a little bit of healthy competition, but my students do not have any animosity towards each other based on class dojo points. Some teachers like to use those points as a system of rewards themselves, so how many points you get equals a certain reward. I just give them all stickers on their sticker chart at the end of the day if they're in the green. As I was saying before, I also use class dojo to communicate with parents. If most or all of your parents are signed up, it's extremely easy to send them messages and announcements. So you can send them messages about what's going on in the school. If there was a problem that happened that day, you can let them know right away. I also made an announcement that the day of our Halloween parade had changed because we were sending a flyer home, but sometimes those flyers don't make it to the parents. They sometimes get lost in the backpack, the magical world of backpacks. It's kind of like the laundry where your sock gets lost. So Class Dojo is another way to do that as well. And then parents can send me things too. If they have concerns about their child, if there's something that happened at school that might have happened outside of the classroom or even inside the classroom because we don't see everything all the time or hear everything all the time, they can let you know about their concerns. You also have class stories on Class Dojo. So if you're working on a project in class or you want to show the parents a video of something that's happening in class, you can quickly kind of like Instagram or Snapchat, take a picture or a video and upload it to the class story and parents can comment on it, they can like it. And I don't know if they can save it. They might be able to save it, I'm not sure. But they can see what's going on inside the classroom. Of course, what you want them to see. The classroom stories are protected, so only the parents that are signed up can see them. And that way it's a little bit different than Facebook and Instagram. 
and even some Snapchat stories that might be able to get out there a little bit more, the Class Dojo stories are going to stay in your classroom. You also can add student portfolios and parents can add things to the student portfolios and students can add them th themselves with a QR code or a class code. You could even have them log in on your phone or tablet or computer to add things to their class story. For example, my class drew Class Dojo monsters and they were able to take pictures of their Class Dojo monsters and upload it to their portfolio and their parents were able to see it. Overall, I think Class Dojo is a really amazing comprehensive app that I feel has really enhanced my classroom management and also my communication with parents. I also feel like it's a good portfolio for me if there's anything I want to save and show on a resume, I can save those photos and videos that I share on Class Dojo. You know, just make sure that you're respecting privacy um, laws and all of that. But as long as you are following the guidelines and you have everything, you can save it for a future digital portfolio. And it kind of encourages that because you want to post those class stories for the parents to see. So you find yourself taking more pictures and videos to show the awesome work that your students are doing in class. Let me know if you have any questions about Class Dojo in the comments down below. If you want me to do another video that's more of a screen sharing screencast to show how you use Class Dojo and all the different things you can do with it, let me know that as well. And also, my question for you is, what is your favorite app to use as a teacher? Maybe it's Class Dojo, maybe you have something else that's your favorite app. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this teacher tip. I hope it was helpful and I hope you have a wonderful week.